Hey guys, so the trailer for The New Mutants just came out, so we're gonna get a little bit into what we see in the trailer, and I'm gonna give you some of my ideas of what I think is happening, and what I think about the film thus far. Now, five seconds into the trailer, you can already tell that this is a clear departure from the other X-Men films Fox has done. Thank God! If you watch any of my other YouTube videos, you probably can tell that I am not a fan of what Fox has been doing with the X-Men films, and The New Mutants has given me a little bit of hope that Fox is somewhat paying attention to what fans are saying about their X-Men films because they're boring and have too much Jennifer Lawrence. But anyway, The New Mutants were created in 1982 by Chris Claremont and Bob McLeod, and they were basically created as a teenage version of the already adult X-Men in the comic books. So it looks like Fox is taking a page from the Marvel handbook and making a really good comic book movie not just be a comic book movie. So in The New Mutants, you can see that's a comic book film, but it's also going to be a horror film. Just like Captain America Winter Soldier was a comic book movie, but also a spy thriller. So The New Mutants, by having this horror other genre going on, is actually going to be something new, something we haven't seen before, and something that I think will pay off very well for Fox. Now there's not much talking in the trailer, so if you aren't familiar with the comic books, you're probably not sure who's who. So we know already from the trailer that we're going to have Magic, Wolfsbane, Sunspot, Cannibal, and Mirage as a whole rounded team of the New Mutants. Now the two actors I'm really excited about to see in this film are Anya Taylor-Joy, who's cast as Magic, and Maisie Williams, who's cast as Wolfsbane. Now I'm really hoping that Fox doesn't screw this part up, because in the comic books, Magic is Russian, and Wolfsbane is Scottish. So I'm really, really hoping that Fox actually has these actors portray the characters with their proper accents, because I'm pretty sure they both can pull it off. We know Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones, and your Anya Taylor-Joy from The Witch, so both have great acting chops, so they better be practicing those accents because I want to see them in the film. And I definitely feel that if they don't have those accents and they just make them American, that's just stripping away the character. It makes it really bland and boring, so I'm really hoping they are pushing that. We know Magic is also the sister of Colossus, who in the Deadpool movie did have a Russian accent, Forget the X-Men films because he didn't. So I'm hoping they make a connection at least somewhat in there, and if not, I just really hope they make her Russian and most of Scottish. Now when I first saw the trailer, I immediately got excited because I loved the entire vibe of the trailer, and it looks scary as I mean, it looks so good! Now if the score in the trailer is anything like the actual film soundtrack, I think it's gonna be so well done! I mean, I was ready getting like goosebumps just watching it, and then the part when the skulls come out of the walls, I'm like, what the now, I'm pretty sure they're being held in this institution because they're mutants, but one of the things we don't know from the trailer is why it all of a sudden starts becoming a haunted house. I'm guessing it might be tied to maybe some of their powers. I mean, Mirage, her powers is to be able to cast illusions, and then Magic, I mean, she's a whole sorceress, and in the comic book, she's tied to this dimension called Limbo that's full of demons, so there's so much they can use and pull from that kind of fits into this horror genre, so I feel that they thought this out really, really well, and that this entire cast is just gonna like skyrocket into just epicness in the films because Josh Boom does want it to be a trilogy. I do have high hopes for this film, and I can't wait to actually see the full trailer because it's only a teaser trailer. So I think The New Mutants might be one of the best films that Fox has made based around the X-Men. I know, I know. I think the only ones up there are probably Deadpool and Logan to some extent. But other than that, I think this will definitely be up there for sure. And I really just can't wait to see more.